Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Oakley here from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this is the complete wedding photography website tutorial and this is the final step, step 8. Now, we've done a lot of work on your website and uh, for the most part we've got, I would say, you know, like 95, 98% complete and if you wanted to stop here, you absolutely could. We haven't done any coding to this point besides little uh, HTML tags within this page um, but I want to go I want to go ahead and log out of our site because there's a couple of things what I want to do with this video is just I promised you that I would get you to this exact website which I will today and I'll show you there's a couple of things that are a little bit uh, different in our site that I, I plan on helping you change but it's gonna mean we're gonna go away from the easy customizer tool that SmugMug has and we're gonna do a, a couple of advanced things but which, which is good because you might want to do some advanced uh, customization yourself and this will be uh, sort of the intro video to, to let the leash off of you and let you just go do your own thing from now on so I'm gonna teach you where to go from here so go ahead and log out of your site and you'll see that uh, a couple of things. Let's go back to our home page. So one of the first differences you see on our home page is um, the navigation bar is tucked really high up into our browser window. That's fine, you could leave that if you wanted to, but I'd like to push mine down. So I'm gonna show you how to change that. And if we go to um, any of our galleries, you can see there's a, a breadcrumb here, which is fine as well. You might wanna leave it, I like to get rid of it. Um, we've got all of our navigation up here. I want to clean up this page a little bit more, so I'm going to I'm going to get rid of that, and uh, I'm going to do that for every gallery, I believe. Yep. And then the work with me page is the one that I think needs quite a bit of work. I don't want this slideshow button here. I don't want this breadcrumb. I don't want this this gallery pages. Um, I want to clean this site up a little bit and I, I said I wanted to, uh, to change the, the color of this text to help highlight it. So none of this stuff can be done with the Easy Customizer. There is one thing that I think I missed with the Easy Customizer. If your site is showing this line and uh, more links in the bottom footer here than what is on this site, you can see there's no line and the, there's a lot less links. Well that actually can be done with the Easy Customizer and I think I I missed that one so I'm going to show you how I do that so let's go log back in to your site so <clears throat> okay so I'm back into my site and we want to go we can go tools no nope, not here I want to go back to my home page and I want to go tools I want to go to the easy customizer and here I want to go to the footer uh, you you might have already done this, but I don't think I told you yet to uh, to change this. So change the show footer, show full smug mug footer. Show I want to show the mini one, and then I've got a couple options: show login link, shopping cart help. I like to leave all of those on um, because they're helpful to me and they're helpful to my customers, and they don't uh, they don't take away from the 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 uh, website too much. So I'm gonna go publish and go OK. So now if you notice. Uh, so say you did want to change something on your site, uh, like some of the things I just mentioned before, you could go try to find out how to do that in here, but I'll tell you that you won't be able to. Like I already looked in the last video, I was trying to see uh, if there was a place under text to change my header text, and there just isn't uh, in here. So, um, so there's a link at the bottom here called Advanced Site-Wide Customization. Now this is when it gets uh, pretty advanced. Uh, and where um, you can do pretty much anything you want on your site um, can be done through this advanced site-wide customization. It's just a little bit trickier. So go ahead and open that up. So are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. And then you'll come to this site, advanced site-wide customization. And what I want you to, to direct your attention to is the CSS optional, cascading style sheet code CSS goes here. Now what the heck is CSS? Well, click on that link that says what the heck is CSS and you'll be taken to a page in the help section that SmugMug starts to uh, um, tell you all about this stuff. And for some of you, you might go, oh yeah, this is awesome. I can just do anything I want and this is so good. 
And for others, you'll be like, oh my goodness, what in the world is this? I have no idea what's going on. I'm overwhelmed. This is nuts. Um, <laughs> regardless of who you are, it's probably a good idea to uh, to read this page because you'll get a better understanding of what uh, what we can now do with custom CSS, the CSS stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to teach you that stuff. I'm not an expert on it. Uh, I It took me a lot of time to dig around uh, and figure out how to do different things. Um, so one thing you can find out through here, I think, will be a link. There's a link to Dgrin, which is that forum that'll have a whole bunch of people that'll be able to help you um, figure out different things. And there is also in the SmugMug help uh, on the main page, you can go to the customize your site and you can go uh, probably into advanced customization FAQ. And all of these are likely going to have uh, custom CSS answers for you. So can I make my galleries line up two by two? And the answer is yes, and here's the CSS code that you would then use, or, or something like that. There's information on that. So yeah, it's sort of never ending on being able to do stuff to your site. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our CSS, and I'm going to copy and paste code that I know works for what I want to do, and I'll just tell you the different uh, pieces. So here's my code. Copy, paste. So um, in our site, oh, I'm not in our site here, but... Uh, I can't really I can't really go look at our site while we're doing the code but um, breadcrumbs bread tums what I call it bread crumbs I'm gonna change the R on that so hide breadcrumbs when not logged in so what this code does is it hides that uh, that trail maybe I can go into it let me just see right click new tab oh yeah I can okay so hide breadcrumbs so these is what this is what's called breadcrumbs so this is on the top of my gallery page it says I'm in portfolio it's part of the wedding gallery and there's my home page now I want to get rid of that so in here I type in dot not logged in uh, pound sign breadcrumb trail bracket displayed none semicolon <laughs> so that's how that's how the code works um, but just go ahead and copy and paste that in and uh, and you'll be able to, as soon as we press uh, the save button, those breadcrumbs will be gone. And I always uh, like to, whenever I put code in my CSS, because this can get quite long if you're doing a lot of customization, you want to remember what does what. So you can um, use uh, these symbols here, a forward slash and a star, and then a star and a forward slash, and any text in there doesn't actually affect your site. It's just for your own comments. So here I say, hi, breadcrumbs were not logged in, and then there's my code. The next one is to hide pave navigation, slideshow button, and album navigation work uh, for the work with me gallery. So in our gallery here, remember I said I wanted to do a bunch of changes, so that's what I'm going to do here. And now what's really important is if you're going to specifically change a page, you need to know what the page um, uh, kind of code is. So it's the first letters here after the gallery name work with me. It's the first letters before the little uh, underscore. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that because I know it's going to be wrong with what I pasted in here. So gallery underscore and then I go, there's my code. And I change that for all of these. And that's going to change the, uh, it's going to get rid of the slideshow button. It's going to get rid of, uh, hide the uh, page navigation and the album navigation at the top. The next one is to move the entire website down the page 50 pixels. So remember I wanted to move my page down so this is 50 pixels here and to do that the coding is uh, body wrapper, pound body wrapper and then padding 50 pixels and that does that change. The next one is I want to change the color of the H2 so the header 2 text which are the titles for the work with me page I want to change those to blue so I just go H2 color and I know this is my blue color which is 1963AA and that'll do that. So if I do my coding there and I go down and I go um, update and I go back to the home page um, so you notice we were pushed down a bit so that's worked. If we go into our portfolio gallery now I'm logged in remember I said just when I'm logged out do I want this to be gone so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to home and go into visitor view and you'll see in our gallery here mm, what's happened it's not in visitor view hold on a sec visitor view there we go portfolio okay that now I'm in now I'm in my visitor view and that uh, navigation is gone so that's sweet and now this is the biggest change in the work with me 
you can see that our uh, header text is now blue, which is awesome. Slideshow is gone, that the navigation there is gone, and this now looks exactly how we want our site to be. And you know what? We are done. So now what do you want to do? Well, you, you might want to, you're good to go right now. I've, there is absolutely no problem for you to have a website that looks just like this one um, to market yourself as a photographer, to give to your clients, to go purchase prints. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is great. So now what you can do if you get new clients, you're going to go into owner's view and go into, uh, you know, you're in your client gallery. Just go ahead and upload new galleries as you finish your photos and then direct your uh, clients to their gallery and just start filling this thing out. It's awesome. And then you know how to update your portfolio. You just go into the new gallery and uh, click on uh, click on the, the, that icon that has the plus mark and throw it into your, into your portfolio. And if you want to add more testimonials, you can do that easily. So you have everything there. Now, if you want to make this site your own, by all means, um, uh, go into the home and go into the easy customizer play around with the fonts, play around with the colors. You can uh, add and remove things on this home page. And if you really want to get um, get adventurous, you can go into that advanced uh, advanced site-wide customization and uh, and figure out how to how to code different things and different changes. Now remember there's the smug mug help here which has got everything that you need to learn CSS. And then there's the the um, the forums here, and I'll just direct you to. So we'll go home. So the forum dgrin.com. If you scroll down to, uh, we need to find customization. So it's very bottom, smug mug customization. Click on that, and this is where you can ask questions. So so this person's asking for help. This person's asking for footer location. This person's asking for code. This person's so this is the community and this is the place where the experts hang out. So and ask your questions there, and as you learn things, answer questions for people, and uh, away you go. You're on your own. And thank you so much for following this tutorial. I really, really hope it was helpful to you and that you've got your site up and running. Um, I, if you have questions specifically about this tutorial, by all means, leave them on my blog in a comment, and I'll uh, I'll be monitoring that uh, that blog post. Uh, send me questions uh, through Twitter. My handle is uh, Wedding Photo Gig uh, on Twitter. Um, but if there's if you have questions beyond this tutorial, please go to um, the Digital Grin, the dgrin.com forums or go to Smug Mug Help, or um, if you really get stuck on stuff, ask a um, customization question here or email Smug Mug. Uh, I am not a customization uh, guru expert. I probably can't help you with a lot of stuff, so uh, your best place is to, is to go find where the experts are. Uh, but I do hope that uh, this tutorial worked out well for you, and um, yeah, if it did and you're super happy, please leave a comment and let me know. I would love to see that people have been able to use this tutorial. All right, that's it. Take care, and we'll see you later.